Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the PC addition to Demia. This is gonna be a pretty different video from everything that I've done so far. I mean, hell, we're in this VR bubble making videos, but like most content out there is flat screen and there's nothing weird about that. We're the weirdos out here. I very much love Demia, we all know by now. I wanna try out the PC addition simply because sometimes I don't feel like jumping into the headset. And that's all fine, virtual reality is not an easy thing by any means. Every setup is different, everyone lives in different place, you know, some have it easier, some not. Playing Dimi on PC for me personally would be very beneficial if you're talking about grinding because after Roots of Evil there's a lot to keep up and the XP level is so high now that you'd have to play hundreds of sessions to get to the end. With Quest it's kinda like you know you have a battery, you have comfortability issues, you can't really play 24-7. Before your monitor here like that you can play endless hours and that's the most appealing feature to me. Playing a quick session when I'm eating or watching something and that's basically it. VR is gonna be for social, flat screen for grind time. I'm very interested how the mechanics will work. In VR you are the player, you are the controller. To us the perspective is so different that we don't really think about the controls, we don't really follow the instructions, we do whatever we want. It's gonna be a very interesting test to see how a game from this technology can be converted to the flat. If it's even gonna be a pleasurable experience. I expect the game to be pretty much exactly the same, it's just gonna be the controls that will hit different, but everything will work in terms of safe files, sharing the same assets, level account information, this is Dimia just for PC. It's gonna be my first pancake gameplay so let's see how this turns out. <laughs> So from what I understood, I just start in desktop mode and it should work. Yeah, pretty much that. It's so weird sitting just in front of my PC and not being on my bed. Is everything placed? Dave the Psycho 46? Yeah, seems like it. It's basically like this menu you'd have in front of you just in that version. <laughs> Should we do some mini tutorial on the PC version or just jump right into the game? Yeah, just really fast, just to see the mechanics. Use the WASD buttons on your keyboard to move your view around the table, or press and hold the middle mouse button to do the same. Now we'll try taking a closer look. Use the mouse good. For the last step, I'll okay, teleport you that back. press and hold the right mouse button. <laughs> Damn, VR is really <laughs> just an epitome of control system. It's just so easy dragging with your own hands. <laughs> Pick up your champion by pointing at it. Drop your champion on this tile by moving it. Great. Straightforward. Place your champ. Good job. You have two. Now it's the monster smash. <laughs> Attack the rat. Throw the die by pressing and holding the left mouse button to pick it up move and then release to throw so essentially my hand is my mouse like everything seems to be that way punch it okay i don't think i need more actually just i was curious about rotating movement this is simple enough to understand quick play at random with randoms that are in vr now <laughs> hey what's up boss hi are you playing in vr yes I'm actually on the desktop and try out the new version. <laughs> what dungeon is it? Like, I see the, the shopkeeper. Oh, okay, the basic one. I wanna turn off this blur that I have around I my screen. <laughs> Edge blur, yeah. Why does it even exist? I already love it. I'm gonna be playing Dimi like that as well. It's fun as well that uh, stats like that show up. Okay. Do you see me somehow? Yeah, you got the uh, little level one glasses. Why? I'm 46. <laughs> I like that it kind of like zooms in on the action, what's actually going on. It's like you don't need to constantly move your camera. Automatically, it's not like, you know, annoying. But you got me some Pantera, some Drowning Pool, or you got some like Luke. Luke Whalen or something. <laughs> <laughs> we have buffs here on the side. My shield. It's very like transparent. You don't really search for information. You get it. There's also less magic to it since playing in VR is pretty special, at least for me. And now on flat screen, I mean, it's nice. But <laughs> if there's a possibility, I would still play in VR. Okay. Cool. I don't need to search on the board who got what, even though I don't think I would search even. <laughs> Sarcophagus is the easiest campaign for me, and we're already on the stage 2 I believe, right? I can't check it. <laughs> it would be nice to see somehow. It's so funny when you hover on the actual heroes, you have abilities. <laughs> like, 
that's something I didn't think I see. Also, I can't wait to have a smooth as editing because Quest normally disrupts audio, not as much as before. But it's just gonna be a uh, pure pleasure. Also, I guess I'm covering um, <laughs> one part of the screen. When you have my camera, there is gold and the uh, mana for the cards. I used a strength potion on me, but it still says attack free. Well, it's early access version, so it's not gonna be perfect by any means. I don't remember if on this ledge here, the ballista would shoot them. Yeah, you can shoot down from here. Because I know this one can. works, but I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I feel pretty safe. I got the whole pack of Varuskas over here with me. <laughs> Unless they won't move. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Two war fronts. I feel like I have this sensation that I don't know what I'm doing. Even though I know Dimio perfectly and stuff, I feel like because I'm not playing in VR, it feels a little bit different. I don't know if I'm just unfocused or something, but I'm not doing the usual moves that I would do. <laughs> I guess let's do some plays. What? How'd you do that? <laughs> I know how to play Guardian. <laughs> okay, well, that was not planned. Oh my lord, that was a big ass effect. <laughs> I'm so used to the quest potato graphics. I guess we have a key, so the exit is either here or on top. Yep, there it is. I mean, we don't got a lot of gold, but I think we're good, ahead, good to go ahead and go after we can. It's the base it. campaign, it's very easy. And with that gold we have stuff. I have a potion, oopsie. Oh, there's no animation. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? What? I feel faster. Oh my god, this PC version is a little bit buggy still. <laughs> That's how the Ooh. shop looks like. I mean, nothing surprising really. <laughs> Nice zoom at the chest. <laughs> oh, here's another bug with gold. So they are here. Okay, yeah, she's here. She's summoned. What's interesting is that normally in VR, if I just hang a card like that, I could see the range, but not in the PC. So do I trust? No. Never trust AI. <laughs> Here's a fat S. <laughs> it messed me up. It made me drop my character when I got that card. I'll fix that. Back, you thieves. Go back to the abyss. And C -c 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 combo break. Oh shit, it's <laughs> invulnerable. <laughs> If it would be old Hunter Mark, she would be dead already. Uh, I guess she will anyways. Yo. Can you do this on the computer? Do what? Oh yeah, I mean, it's on the one level, I guess I can go in 3D. <laughs> Sweet ass XP. It's Pretty fun, essentially the same game. I think just my personal experience is a little bit different because I'm kind of unfocused playing this version, but maybe because I'm recording as well. There are some bugs going on, mostly visual, but other than that, if I don't feel like jumping into the headset, I'm gonna be playing this. So what's the <laughs> level cap now? 60, hmm, yeah, it's gonna be a long time.